Question 4a. This question is about KPC and is uh, used ethoxyethane and water as a solvent and the solute is butanoic acid. Butanoic acid can dissolve in both solvent and it can distribute in these two solvent when it stays for a longer time. And from the statement, I already told you that butanoic acid it has a higher concentration in the ethoxy ethane. So which means the butanoic acid, which is a solute, can dissolve much better in the ethoxy ethane. Okay, so part one, state what is means by partition coefficient, uh, means KPC. KPC, we know that uh, we must depend on the concentration of the solute in two solvent system. Okay, so therefore, uh, I show you this one first, right? Okay, KPC for this uh, uh, for this uh, uh, system, okay, is the concentration of the butanoic acid in the two solvent. Okay, so it's the concentration of butanoic acid in the ethoxy eating and the concentration of the butanoic acid in water. So when we get the two concentration, we can get the KPC. Okay, so when you try to uh, uh, give the meanings or to define this uh, partition coefficient, so it's very easy. It's just the ratio of the concentration of solute in two immiscible solvents at equilibrium. So it's actually the ratio of concentration of the solute that used. Okay, so part two. Given the KPC for butanoic acid between ethoxy ethane and water, so this one you have to uh, look carefully. Whenever it's uh, mentioned between the first sovereign and the second sovereign, normally it will be the first sovereign will be the the uh, numerator and the second sovereign will be the denominator so remember this yeah? okay so for this one is given uh, kpc is 3.5 it's showing that concentration of butanoic acid is higher in the ethoxy eating than water okay now the question is actually asked calculate the volume of the water used okay then we can uh, use the KPC expression now uh, we can use the concentration of the butanoic acid in these two layers and we can use the gram instead so we just use gram no need to use the mole because butanoic acid they are the same in these two solvent so therefore we can straight away use the gram okay in this question I uh, already told you that okay, 2 gram of the butanoic acid in 100 cm cube of ethoxy eating and water is added the volume of water uh, we need to calculate and the mixture left until there is no further change in the concentration in both uh, layers the mass of the butanoic acid in the ethoxy eating is 1.62 gram. Initial mass is 2 gram. After reach equilibrium is reduced to 1.62 gram, means 0 0.38 grams already moved to the water layer. Okay, so therefore we can use the KPC expression 3.5 equal to this concentration. So we can use the gram and the cm cube because the question, uh, the answers here is cm cube. So we no need to convert to dm cube. We just use the gram and we use the cm cube that given. Okay, so this one is 1.62 over 100. 
Okay, this one is for the ethoxy eating. And 0 0.38 of the butanol acid now is inside the water over X. X we don't know, we need to find what is the volume. So rearrange, then you'll get 82.1 cm cube. Okay, part B. An echo solution of butanol acid can be used to make buffer solution. Okay, part one, define buffer. A solution is that resist change in pH when a small amount of acid or base added. So very straightforward and easy. Right, so the key is resist change in pH when a small amount of acid or base added. Okay, that's the buffer solution. Okay, part two, suggest one organic compound and one inorganic compound that can be added to two different samples of aqueous butanoic acid to produce buffer. Okay, so in order to produce buffer, we must have acid and the salt. So since I already told you the acid, which is the butanoic acid, this one, so we must use its salt. Right, so therefore, the organic compound, we can use the sodium butanoic. Right, so this is the salt that we can use to produce the buffer together with butanoic acid. Or we can add inorganic compound, which is sodium hydroxide. Why? Because sodium hydroxide, uh, if you react with the butanoic acid, form the salt. The sodium hydroxide must be the limiting and this butanoic acid must be in excess because buffer needs the acid and the salt that form. So therefore when we add the inorganic compound sodium hydroxide in this case, so we can form the salts later. When the salts form and uh, butanoic acid uh, remains, so we, it can form the buffer solution. So that's why you can just suggest organic compound. Okay, you give the salt. In organic compound is the sodium hydroxide. Okay, part C. The solubility of aluminum hydroxide is 2.47 times 10 positive 9. Okay, part 1. Give the expression of solubility product, KSP, of aluminum hydroxide. Okay, before you try to give the expression, it's better for you to, uh, to form this equation first, uh, or this equilibrium. Uh, the salt partially dissolved from the aluminum ion and three moles of hydroxide. Okay, so from here, we can get the KSP easily. So KSP is the concentration of the aluminum ion times the concentration of hydroxide. Okay, so it's power 3. Means uh, this one follow the coefficient of the uh, these uh, ions, right? This uh, hydroxide in the equilibrium. So this one very easy. Okay, just expression. After that, try to calculate the KSP include the units for the KSP as well. Okay, so we just substitute the solubility of the aluminum hydroxide. Why? Because from this equilibrium, you, we know that okay, when this aluminum hydroxide okay, is ionized or is uh, uh, dissolved, so it will be, let's say, minus x. When minus x mole, then the x mole of aluminum ion and 3 x mole of hydroxide will be formed. Therefore, you need to you can get the concentration of the aluminum ion and the hydroxide easily. So means the solubility uh, for this uh, aluminum hydroxide can represent the concentration of the aluminum ion. And the concentration of hydroxide is three times of the, the solubility of aluminum hydroxide. So it means 3x. Okay, so substitute the concentration of aluminum ion now. 
okay, to the KSP and of course the hydroxide as well. Okay, so after that you get this 1.01 times 10 on negative 33. Okay, and this one is uh, very easy. It's the uh, mole per dm cube times the mole per dm cube. Okay, bracket cube. So means you get mole power 4 dm power negative 20. Okay, sorry, power negative uh, chaffed. Okay, so this is the uh, the calculation for the KSP. Okay, and how to get the unit. Okay, that's all. Thank you.